Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to a different kind of video today. Um, now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install like a replay mod and fabric as well. Uh, I've just had a little bit of issues with downloading mine and I just want to, you know, share this video with you guys. Hopefully it'll help you out. And I'm also going to show you guys a little bit on how to use replay mod at the end of the video. So stick around for that if you are a little bit new to the mod and want to know the basics of it. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. And down in the description below, you can find links to all of these things here, which you'll need to download in order to do this. So uh, first up, we can go ahead and download OptiFabric. Now OptiFabric allows you to use Fabric Launcher with OptiFine. So you can just uh, click on this one here, scroll down, click download. So you just want to go ahead and press that one there. It should start downloading just now. And we can wait for the download to begin short and easily. There we go, sweet. So it'll pop up, do you want to keep this file? Just press yes. Now we can move over to the Fabric API. Uh, now I believe this allows it to work with other mods. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you just scroll down again, find the 1.16 version and press download again. We'll wait the three seconds for it to start as well. And downloading now, we do the same thing and just press keep. We can move over to the fabric page. Now this here is the main launcher that you launch your mods and things through. Now once we're here on the fabric page, you can just go ahead and press this little download button just here. Now you can use either one. I just downloaded the Windows uh, EXE version. If you're on Mac, just press the universal jar as well. Both will work. Now uh, we can come over to the Optifine page. And if you're looking for the 1.16, uh, it's not actually here. You gotta click this little preview versions button. Now mine currently is a um, pre-4, yours might be different depending on which time you watch this video at, but you just want to go ahead and download it here. And if that doesn't work for you, just press this little mirror button just here and it will take you to a direct link as well. But I'll probably leave this directly in the description below so you can just click that and jump straight to it. Now, lastly, we can come across to the replayed mod page and uh, we can see just here, Minecraft 1.16. We can just simply press a download and it will take us across here. And there we go, we press keep again and everything should be downloaded from here. Next up, we can uh, type in percent app data percent and hit enter now bring up your roaming page you can go ahead and click on the dot minecraft file and scroll down to your mod section if you don't have one of these files just simply right click new folder and label it mods with no capitals we can double click in here and as you can see i've already got this installed on my computer but you guys won't have any files in here most likely we can open up our downloads page just here and as you can see we have all of our things here that we need to install first off you can go ahead and do is run the fabric installer.exe go ahead and double click on that one there and it will pop up this little window just here and as we can see it's on minecraft version 1.16 all you want to simply do is just press install it'll take a second and then you'll just say successfully installed and you press ok and then we can close that down next up all you have to do is simply drag across all of your recent downloads so the replay mod itself make sure it's the 1.16 um, the fabric API and the OptiFabric and the preview version of the OptiFine as well. Now, if you have any older versions of OptiFine, if you run this on 1.15, just make sure you go ahead and delete those before you do this, otherwise it won't load correctly. Um, and then that there is pretty much it, guys. So you can go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, it will load you up in the fabric loader. If you had this open during that whole process, just close it, restart it and open it again, and it will launch here as a fabric loader. And you can go ahead and just press play. Now we'll jump into a little single world just so you guys can see that it's actually fully loaded and everything like that and I'll give you guys a brief little tutorial on replay mod. Awesome, so now we're here in our main menu screen. You can see we have an extra bar just here, which is the replay viewer. Um, what you can go ahead and do is load up any world, multiplayer, single player, anything like that, and uh, just let it load up. And I'll show you a couple little features inside here that we can use. Um, don't mind this, I was just playing around with some nether portal designs with the new buildings blocks before. Um, what you do is hit escape, and as you can see here, we have two extra buttons down here. We have a star recording and a resume recording. So 
if you want to start it you can pause it stop it um, resume it just here and stop it just there um, once you've you know filmed in here for a little bit you can go ahead and close it just save and exit like you normally would and if you saw up there it said saving replay now don't close your minecraft launcher until that has disappeared otherwise your recording won't save properly um, it does have kind of a safety but it's kind of hit and miss so just make sure you double check that it's all good from there next up you can go ahead and come into your replay viewer and you want to press uh, load just here so you find the recording and you can jump in now as you can see here there we go and as you can see it already pops up in here with timelines and all this stuff now you are in like a camera third person view straight away um, now we have a few buttons and you know you just got your normal creative flying mode and all that kind of stuff there are a few buttons to note um, P is play and pause T gets your mouse like see here you can't have your mouse you can't do anything you press escape it goes to here and closes again so you press T and that gives you your cursor and up here you can change the speed of the viewing like so this is now moving at 0.1% of speed um, we can move it all the way up to 8 as well now down here is where we really want to look at as far as the I'm just going to restart the timer you can click on here and it'll reload as well now, whoop come outside of my person and here is where we really want to look at where we'll get our keyframings and all this stuff so this here is a position so this is where the camera is going to pause at and this here is where you're going to capture the time of this section here now from here you can just go ahead and press play just so it gets a little bit of movement around if you just move the camera from here to here and drag it on this line everything's still going to be still but at least now we have some life now if you want that whole time lapse there to be only uh, 10 seconds so theoretically that probably took like what is that yeah 10 seconds there so we can make it five seconds here that's how long it's going to be so it's going to take us five seconds to move from here to here but still cover 10 seconds in the time now to what you want to do is if you want to preview it just grab your little cursor down here move it to the start and just press that play button and it will uh, load up and show you what it's going to look like so that whole 10 seconds there is cut down to five seconds here and we get all of our motion as well now if you want to go ahead and save your project you can just go ahead and press save uh, you can copy my settings just here this is what I have it uh, you know set up as I uh, don't think there's too much changed around here though um, um, everything is the same pretty much and this is, might be the only thing that I will leave down in the description if I can copy and paste it so hopefully I'll configure that out for you um, and then from here you can just go ahead and select the files that you want it to go into and you just press render and it's pretty much done there so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you did enjoy it all please leave a like subscribe and the notification bell all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video later <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,